Hello, my name is Corey Honow. This is my persuasive speech, and I'm going to solve a problem that everyone watching this video is having right now, today. And I'm also going to tell you guys how to stop and solve this problem. Now, the problem today, it's not your gambling problem. It's actually the problem with how much you're paying for cable. So, everyone knows this. It's a part of the bills you guys pay every month. Your phone bill, your house bills, any of that stuff. But then you come to your cable bill. Numbers probably range from 100 to 200 dollars. Maybe even more if you're paying for like ridiculous stuff on it. Well, there's a very cheap alternative than cable. And it's internet streaming. Internet streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, any of those are perfect alternative for cable TV. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So, cable television. You have roughly 500, 800 plus channels. And you only end up watching five of them altogether. Let's say if you do that. You're only enjoying a small margin of what you actually pay for. Wouldn't you want to pay for what you actually watch? For example, if you bought Hulu, which is $10 a month, way, way less than $100 plus a month, you can watch whatever you wanted on there that they offer. Shows like The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, all those shows that you love watching every week when there's a new season out. Watch those on Hulu, and they become available pretty much immediately after they air. That's one cheap alternative. Now, I'm going to give you guys a quote. Um, I read this article. Um, the guy's name was Rich. According to Rich, he listened out the things that cable companies have. This is how they get you. Cable companies offer you these packages. You know, if you've had cable, they offer you packages. Well... They offer you certain packages that are standard at first, like, you know, local cable, the standard 100 channels probably, something like that. They offer you that, which is a standard flat fee, but then there's additional content, additional channels you can buy that add up to your total, like buying movie channels, HBO, Star, Showtime, Cinemax, also getting individual channels that are very... Um, they just they just they just price those differently than the regular amount you get. They price those differently and they add them on top of your amount you pay a month. That's how cable companies get you, and this is not to your benefit at all. Rich states this completely in his article that this is what cable companies want to do. They want to favor themselves and not favor you. Cable companies like Time Warner and Comcast especially do this, and they're not ashamed of it. While you have companies like Netflix, Hulu, and all them, they offer you what you want, and you can watch that on your own time. Cable companies, you have to watch their programming and their content off the channels they offer on a set time and schedule. If I missed an episode of Game of Thrones on HBO, I can't be all like, oh no, I missed it, I'll have to watch it later tonight, or I want to be able to watch it again. No. With these streaming services like HBO Go and Hulu, you could go on them there later on and the show will be there for your viewing experience anytime you want. And you pay for what you want to watch. You don't have to pay extra fees for anything else you want to watch. In my mind, eight to ten dollars for something like Hulu or HBO Go, pretty cheap alternative to paying over a hundred dollars if you just want to watch Game of Thrones. It's an example. Now my point is even more proven with this next quote. According to, I hope I'm saying her name right, Breslow, she had this quote that very much defines what I'm talking to you guys today and persuading you guys to follow through with. The forces of control are that the cable and satellite companies, which offer 50 to 500 channels of content that's chosen by network programmers, opposing this bunch are the forces of freedom a group of companies that includes Netflix, TiVo, Apple, AOL, and Yahoo. Now this quote pretty much states cable are the devils and internet streaming services are kind of like, you know, the light in shining armor. It states cable companies as a force of control. They want to control what you watch when you want to watch it. You have no freedom of what you want to watch. I mean, they have on-demand services and stuff. 
But is that really are you, is that really worth it? Like you're paying a hundred dollars for on demand services if that's what you want to watch your content. You don't want to watch it out when it airs. But then you have on demand services like Hulu and Netflix that you can pay ten dollars a month for and it's the same thing. It just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense to me. And the quote continues the name out. Um, the Forces of Freedom, a.k.a. Netflix and all these other services that let you watch when you want to watch. Right, right now, I could watch the whole se- I could watch the entire series of Walking Dead. I mean, AMC probably is having their own marathon on it right now, but you get the point. I could, you could do this with any other series. For example... Um, let's say I want to watch uh, Chowder. It was a television cartoon show on Cartoon Network. Never airs anymore. If I want to watch the full series, I can go to Netflix. I don't get that nowhere else. Same for Hulu. If I want to watch a movie that hasn't been aired in forever, boom, it's on Hulu. This is just a small portion of proof that clearly states why cable network television is the thing of the past and why internet streaming is the future. If you were to switch over, you would save over a hundred dollars every month off of your cable bill. You would, you would just—it's it, mind-boggling how easy this is. But no, no one's doing it. So now I'm gonna tell you how. If you're really interested in this, you can have a regular television, any television that you buy now nowadays. Get a Chrome stick or a Chromecast, Fire Stick, I mean, Fire Stick or a Chromecast. Get one of those two items. You plug them into your TV, and if your TV's already HD or something like that, you can already buy internet streaming service on there, and it's already with it. You can get it like that. It's really simple. Cable just overcomplicates things. I'm telling you now, if you switch over to internet streaming services and throw out your cable boxes, and you just live off of Netflix and Hulu and any other streaming services you find that are what you want, You will by far save plenty of money that can go to other things that you need to pay for at the given point in time. Now please, let's move our future to one where we don't have to struggle every month paying for bills and we can be entertained with television but at a price we're happy with and a price that we are content with paying and not acting like we're signing a contract to the devil himself. I hope you enjoyed this speech. My name is Corey Ho now, and this was the speech on why internet streaming services are way more better than cable television. Thank you.